Check out the vending machine near the Ultor building. Is it a special vending machine? No. Have you bought stuff from a store already? Probably. But I would be remiss as your guide if I didn't show you the basics. Okay, we're back. Um, because I'm a big fucking moron, as I was looking for the subtitles in uh, the last time I was recording, um, they were staring straight in my face, and I uh, just didn't see it. So I've gone ahead and uh, fixed that problem since then. And so uh, I wasn't listening to anything that guy just said, but uh, we're supposed to go do a vending machine for something. Um, we should probably actually take a look at the quest so you guys have an idea. Okay, so gear up. Find a Centropool vending machine and upgrade your weapon collection. I'll reimburse you a few bucks. So, note to self. Find a way to control lightning. Yeah, you could do that. You can purchase weapons and ammo as well as upgrade your weapons at the Centropool Armory. Purchase upgrade or weapon. Uh, what weapon can I get? You can get explosives. I don't need melee, honestly. I could get either of those. I could get an upgrade of this, maybe? This sucks. I tried that. It was horrendous. I'll pick that up. Yeah. Oh, cool. Alright, and I can shoot. Alright. Well, the shotgun worked pretty well last time. So let's see. Foot long wooden stakes that detonate when the opponent is blasted into a wall. Yeah, let's do all this. Oh, that's 20,000. Can't do that. I remember the clip being a problem last time. Alright then. Uh. Just for good measure, we'll buy, uh. Some explosives. Yeah, that's 20k. I might as well just go ahead and upgrade all that stuff uh, at the first tier just because it's only a hundred. You know, it makes sense, right? Whoa, what's that? Exodus 10. Fire a stream of homing blood-sucking insects at your opponents. Okay, fire compressed smoke and brimstone. Diamonds at an incredible rate of fire. Let's go ahead and go with the insects. I like it. Alright then. What's the other th Oh, that's just... Nah. A felcher? Or... F f uh, no, never mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a Fletcher. Okay. Uh, and then... Energy caster. I'm okay with what I have. Uh, I didn't do this. Alright. I think we're good getting better and better. So that was a quick little uh, mission that did not take any time at all. Um, charge Halo. Go forth and impress four specific emissaries to charge up your Halo with magnificent power. So collect the summons power, the stomp power, the aura power, and the blast power. I imagine this one's going to take a little bit longer. So I need to rally Blackbeard. Hey, Blackbeard. Yo. I'm on your ship. What's going on, brother? Abandoned ship! We've been boarded! <laughs> Get these damn things off my ship! Got to offer. Just like the old days. <laughs> yeah, just like the old days, Blackbeard. I like this gun so much more than that lava shooter thing. The lava shooter was tor like, just absolutely horrendous. Hey. Hey. Die. What are you doing? What does that stuff do? This stuff it drops after it dies. I'm curious. 
That's not going to do anything. I got a bit of treasure in that chest over there. The weapon you find inside may help with our little imp problem. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Ooh. He seconds that. Get it off! Get it off! Okay, alright. Fuck off! No, not another one of these. Is that all you got? Jesus. Oh, he's got a guy on him. I summoned these imps to serve as my crew. I forgot what a handful they could be. Once aboard, they wouldn't listen to their captain. They ran amok in the bowels of the ship. Cool. Me. Hey, it's okay to drop the pirate voice. What pirate voice would that be? Wow. Oh, it's a currency. That's what I was picking up. I'm an idiot. That's the money that I've... Yeah, okay. Got it. Zinyak's destruction of Earth had a profound impact on the afterlife. To heaven, it was a logistical nightmare. St. Peter's meticulous nature drove purgatory wait times to unbearable levels. Meanwhile, in hell, where souls in pain were used as currency, it created a new era of prosperity for the wickedly enterprising. This economic boom resulted in the coffers of hell to be overflowing, which in turn piqued the interest of the most notorious man that sailed the Seven Seas. Long had Blackbeard been a thorn in Satan's side, robbing tax collectors on a semi-regular basis. But the promise of an immeasurable fortune drove him to be even bolder. An arrangement was reached. Blackbeard would provide information on strategic targets in exchange for a share of the profit. Johnny, who was interested in murder, not money, happily agreed. I grant ye the ability to summon my crew whenever they're needed. You can now manifest dark entities to serve your bidding. Use the up on the D-pad to uh, quick switch to summon. Summons element, imp, call forth the smallest of hell's minions to create chaos and pandemonium to draw some of the heat off you. Upgrade this power for more imps. Double tap up on the D-pad to quick switch between elements or switch elements in the powers. Okay, uh, Blackbeard has revealed his pirate chest and secret glyphs. And I have God's hammer. Kept. Evidently, they've been trapped in some sort of soul crystal inside Satan's palace. Breaking in is an impossibility. Your best bet to save them is to continue to trap. Things better not. Okay, what the hell's happening? Blackbeard, that every island has a treasure chest hidden on it. What's in the chest? I don't know. I'm not a fucking pirate. What I do know is that if you want to get that thing open, you have to find three corresponding glyphs. Look on the bright side. Nothing's trying to kill you. Alright, I didn't ask to do that, but okay. I'm 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 doing a mission. I guess I walked into something. Okay. Oh. Hold on, I'm a little confused right now. Um let me stop real quick, okay. Oh, it just moved me on to the next one. Though. Okay, so I need to get the stomp power. And I have to go see Shakespeare in order to do that. Damn it. Just, just pick it up. Alright, thank you. Christ. Alright, we're here. Alright, sorry. Was Shakespeare going clubbing? Oh, he's a DJ. Lights up. 
William Shakespeare, humanity's greatest playwright, and hell's most diabolical purveyor of entertainment, looks on as a brave mortal on an Orphean quest enters. The bard's interest is piqued, and he looks to test his visitor's mettle. The masked tragedies were used to enemies cowering as they approached. But soon they realized that they faced a foe with courage and nobility. Traits uncommon in the fires of perdition. I can't remember how to switch weapons. Shit. Fuck. Okay, they just left, I guess. All right. Where's the weapons? Like, God damn it. Okay, it's B. Dumbass. Ooh, let's pick that up. Ow. Take it. Take it. The inciting incident resolved. The time had come. All right, enough of this shit. Let's get real. The Damn it. battle raged on below, and as bullets and blood flew, the bard arched a curious eyebrow. Could this mortal be the exact thing that Shakespeare needed? This is good for the soul. Die. Christ. This battle is far from over, mortal. Arise. And now, Act 3. Okay. Do I have, uh, nope. This will work, though. The conflict resolved. Shakespeare eagerly awaited meeting the champion that dispatched so many of his men. Undoubtedly, they were here for the Bard's end. And while happy endings were not a thing found in hell, Shakespeare always had a soft spot for compass. In the land of the living, William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the most prolific playwrights of all time. However, to the denizens of hell, the bard is seen in a far different light. After selling his soul for fame and adoration, Shakespeare served in hell as Satan's spy master general. In doing his duty, Shakespeare would punish the souls he was investigating by forcing them to perform in grotesque passion plays for Satan's amusement. But in a Twelfth Night-esque twist, Shakespeare found himself living a double life. While he projected an image of cruelty, his heart was as soft as Jezebel's. In secret, he would tutor her on the classics and act out the works of his mortal days. When Satan found out, he cast Shakespeare out of the palace, believing that the poet would be tormented by the populace of hell, far out of Jezebel's sight. But Satan had not counted on the bard's cunning. Embracing his persona of master torturer, Shakespeare and his followers, the tragedies, took root in the entertainment district, biding their time for revenge. And so Shakespeare called forth the deus ex machina to bestow our protagonist with the arcane power of force Tom. You can now slam your foot into the ground to perform arcane stomps right on the D-pad. Repel your opponents away from you, which works great when you're uh, when near cliffs and ledges. Double tap uh, right on the D-pad to quick switch between stomp elements or switch elements in the powers menu. Uh, find and kill Dex again and again. Make him pay for what he did to the saints in Stillwater. Wow, this is about three games late, but I'm alright with that. Oh, I gotta get loyalty from those guys. 
Yeah, we'll do that next time around. Um, let's see. What's this? Yeah, fuck it. Okay, so collect the aura power. Okay, so I'm in the prison now. So I need to uh, rescue Vlad, I think is what the objective was. Rally Vlad, that's what it was. Okay. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. Man, I what, get up. wanted to torture you, why'd they use the short version of the song? This is the short version? Oh yeah. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. The hobo on the bus goes heh heh heh. My mom had like 80 of them. Damn it! One more for the Shit! No! Alright. Alright, alright, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Fuck it, fuck it. This is really bad. Die. Oh, no, he's inside. Can't do that. There we go. You die. No pity for the mortal. You got him up. We must end this infernal music. Come, let us return to my castle, so we may plot our next steps in proper surrounds. Johnny led Vlad back to his castle, which since his incarceration became a haven for frat parties and squatters. But the systematic impaling of trespassers would have to wait. Vlad was a man of his word, and was eager to provide intel that could aid in hobbling Satan's armies. I bestow upon you the Stygian cold fire. You can now charge your body with arcane energy. Uh, cold fire produces ice cold flames of energy around the user, which will set fire to the normally fire resistant uh, demons of hell as the user runs near them. Double tap. Okay, gotcha. Help Vlad claim his prestige by defeating the blah blah blah. Okay, so we've got with three guys now. With every plastic cup I find around my castle. My bloodlust grows. So now we have to rally the twins. Fucking collectibles. Wonder who the twins would be. We're standing in a parking garage. I don't like it either, but Centerpool isn't giving us many options. I can't believe they tried to force us out. I can't believe you forgot the mimosas. I think we have bigger problems. I don't think you realize how much I love mimosas. I can't help but notice that people are trying to kill you. Yeah, they're really big on that here. What did you do? Is now really a good time? We can wait until we're done shooting people. Well, I'm great at multitasking. Remember when we offered you a deal on that airplane and you responded by killing everyone? Yeah. It's like that, but worse. Yeah, I remember these two girls. I think they were in the third, if I'm not mistaken. The third or fourth? I, I really don't remember very much about the third at all. Except for saving Shandi from that military guy and uh, the luchador. 
That's about it. Okay. You... Actually, that's too far away. Uh oh. Hey, Viola. Thought you should know that Kinsey misses you. Really? That's so sweet. Who's Kinsey? You remember Kinsey? She was that hacker that Matt Miller hated. Isn't she crazy? You know, she really grows on you. I thought only one of them died. I, I'm just gonna stop commenting, because I I really don't remember very much about them. I, I the thing is that I thought that the Luchador killed one of them, and the other one kind of defected once that happened. Uh, after like he snapped her sister's neck. I don't I don't remember much after that. Okay. Oh, great, I missed. Gets easier every time. That's how you do that. Fuck, Jesus, get it. Like, <laughs> okay. Like, I was trying to get the shotgun uh, out, but it just wouldn't come out. Hooray. After being reunited in hell, Kiki and Viola wasted no time in doing what they do best. Facilitate the running of businesses. However, the De Winter sisters' success did not sit well with other would-be power players in hell. The sisters' operations all came under attack at once, forcing them on the run. Soon, the twins found themselves on the receiving end of an offer they couldn't refuse. After all, it was better to own one-fifth of something than to be dead.